the Chow Chow, Lantern Joe here with the State of the Lantern Nation for Winter 2020. Uh, so we are talking about the final update for this year. If you don't know what this is, the State of the Lantern Nation address is basically a sort of channel update video. I do these uh, sporadically throughout the year, mostly five times throughout the year because I don't like making update videos. So five times that's where i usually do them so you get one in, in the new year uh, right at the start of the new year around about the first week of january then you get one in april then you usually get one about the start of june then as we go into the summer then you get one towards the end of june towards my birthday and then you'd usually get one round about this time of year round about the channel's birthday in november uh, this one's a little bit later because of the ongoing global climate uh so Let's talk about things. Uh, one, uh, let's start with the uh, Pokemon Crown Tundra. I have really loved doing Sword and Shield on the channel. I've been really, uh, really interested in Sword and Sh uh, how Sword and Shield's been going with the new DLC and everything. I really enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys are too. We are coming to the end of that series now. There are two more episodes left. Episode 19 and... Uh, no, I just, uh, episode 20 and 21 this is going to go up after episode 19 goes up so episode 20 and 21 which are focusing on reggie gigas and the galean star tournament that is and that would be all the content we are producing main story wise for the moment in time with sword and shield there will still be community raid hour but we'll talk about community raid hour when it's time to talk about community raid hour later in this update but other than that, that is the end of Sword and Shield. We have a brand new LP plan, a brand new main series LP plan for the channel, which is Pokemon Moon. I'm excited for Pokemon Moon. I've got the Pit My Starters video recorded, ready to go. Uh, I've got a settings randomization video all recorded, ready to go for that series too. So both of those things are recorded and ready to go for you guys. It's going to be awesome. I hope you enjoy Sim. I hope you enjoy, and uh, it's going to be a fun series. Pokemon Moon, Randomized Nuzlocke starts. Um, I think the first episode is on December the 1st. That's our Pit My Starters. And then we got another episode on the Saturday, which is December the 4th? Yeah, December the 4th. Uh, no, December the 5th. The 5th of December. So you could say, remember, remember the 5th of December, because that's our settings video. Yeah, that's where you'll find out the randomizer settings video uh, that we are using for this series. Remember, the, remember the 5th of December? <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. Anyway, so that's when we're doing the randomizer settings video. And then we are officially starting the series on the 8th. That is the Tuesday. That is the Tuesday when we are starting this series. So Tuesday the 8th of December is the official start to this series. We'll have episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Three episodes a week. That is what you will see from this series. So, there you go. That is Pokemon Moon, our new main series LP. As for the trial run, trial run goes up every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And... We have just recently come to the end of Pokemon Famous Edition. I didn't realise we'd come to the end of Famous Edition when I recorded episode 10, but we had. So, yeah, I, um, I really enjoyed Pokemon Famous Edition. We have come to the end of the beta. I'm excited to see where the game goes from there onwards. And I, as soon as there are some updates to the game, and there's another beta pack out, I will give you some more content when it comes to uh, uh, Pokemon Famous Edition. But really go and check out uh go and join the discord and go and check it out for yourself at the moment and uh or keep an eye on it for the pokemon community forums or through well castle because i don't know what the hell is going on with that game at this moment in time but i'm excited to find out as time goes on uh we are now playing pokemon uh slife uh pokemon scythe it is a very good game it's about dark cry and it's a jet it's our it's our first ROM hack in a while. We haven't done a ROM hack as part of the trial run in a, quite a while. So I'm excited to do a ROM hack as part of the trial run. We've been doing uh, fa Pokemon fan-made games for a while now. And I'm glad to get back into uh, some uh, 
uh, ROM hacks as part of the trial run because the trial run is all about like ROM hacks and fan made uh, fan made games. So I want to cover both franchises during the trial run to see how good uh, the Pokemon community is at making games that aren't you know Game Freak <laughs> and you know other big publishers of Pokemon games. You know, we're not going to cover Pokemon Unite in the trial run. That's not how it works. But we might cover some of... We might cover some, like, unknown big... Unknown people who make their own video games. It's awesome. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to discover the hidden talent in, tri in the trial run. But anyway, we're playing Pokemon Scythe. It goes up every... Ch a Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. A And... We'll change games out when we hit the end of betas or we hit the end of the game. Uh, you know, when we hit the Pokemon League and we see the credits roll, we'll change them out and we'll go and we'll pick another game and we'll continue that trend. And, and sometimes you might not even notice there's an end. Because I didn't notice there was an end of Pokemon Famous Edition. Now there is. And there is. So I have to move on. That's how the trial run keeps on going. The trial run will keep on going forever. The game may change, but the series will keep going forever. Shush friend. Anyway, hey, so that's the trial run for you guys. Then I want to talk about streams. Right now we're doing community radio every Wednesday at 5 p.m. on the channel. It's really awesome. We do Dynamax Adventures and we do Max Raid Battles as part of community radio with a bunch of other YouTubers who also stream Wednesdays at 5 p.m. for community radio. It's a new theme every week. Last week's theme was Cats and Dogs. Uh, Joe Merrick announces a new theme every uh, probably about Saturday night on his uh, Saturday Sunday uh, Saturday night Sunday morning sometimes Monday mornings on his uh, Twitter and that's usually the theme that we go for with it. I know with Dynamax Adventures you can't choose the Pokemon you use. Uh, that doesn't go with the theme. Just doing Dynamax Adventures. Shut off phone. <laughs> uh, uh, does is just good enough for the uh, Dynamax Adventuring. So do. Uh, but uh, for um, Max Raid Battles, the theme, you know, works. I try to go for the, f uh, I try and go for the theme as well. But I really like this series. I'm going to keep it going for a good long while, and so and so people stop, you know, lose passion with it again. But like I, I really enjoyed the series, and I want to keep going. And maybe this time I won't lose passion with it because everyone else decides to lose passion with it. It's really got me to get. It's really got me enjoying streaming whilst lockdown's been on. Then we have uh, some other series I want to talk to you guys about. The Lantern Solo Run, Lantern versus the World. I've been working on this series for almost a year now, and I'm actually wanting to bring this series out. So it will be brought out to you in January. It will be brought out to you Sunday nights starting january the 3rd that is when we are starting this series january the 3rd at 8 uh, january the 3rd at 7 p.m till uh, 9 p.m and basically we're going to start with crystal we're going to have a lant uh, we're going to get we're going to get around we're going to get a lantern as a, a chin chow as our starter and that's going to be the only pokemon we use throughout the entire shut up phone god damn it You'd think having both uh, my main Twitter and uh, the Power Zone Twitter connected to my phone would be annoying. It is. Anyway, back to back to what I was saying. Lantern vs. the World will be every Sunday, 7 till 9 p.m. Uh, we are doing a... Basically, we're taking Lantern and we're going for a solo run throughout the series. We'll start with Crystal. We're going to go to Leaf Green. Then we'll go to Diamond and Pearl. Uh, we'll go Diamond Pearl Platinum. Uh, then we'll go on to Ruby Sat. Uh, actually, we'll start with Crystal. We'll go to Leaf Green. We'll go to Emerald. Then we'll go to Diamond Pearl Platinum. Then fifth gen. Then sixth gen. Then seventh gen. Then eighth gen. We just keep on doing it. Lantern is our only Pokemon. We're not doing a. Bl we're not doing Red and Blue because well, Lantern can't be found in Red and Blue, so we won't be doing Red and Blue. That's how it works. But. But we will be doing Fire Red Leaf Green as part of the of the series because, well, you can technically get a Lantern in Fire Red Leaf Green, so technically that counts. Well, 
because lanterns already existed at that point so that's how we'll do it anyway so lantern versus the world is going to be a big series that start is going to be every sunday on the channel from 7 till 9 p.m and we're starting january the 4th so join us for uh january the 3rd so we're going to start with that and it's going to be awesome and i hope you guys will enjoy the lantern solo run as we start 2021 on the channel so there you go that is what lantern versus the world is all about other things i want to talk to you guys about streaming is the fact that i am part of a group called operation reindeer uh, it is a streaming group that is all doing a bunch of sleep locks as part of thanksmas for 2020 uh, if you don't know what thanksmas is Basically, Thanksmas is a charity stream series that a huge, and I mean huge, YouTuber does. His name is Jack Septakai, and every year he does the stream series where he basically uh, does a charity stream uh, for about a week. He does a massive charity stream every day for about a week, and all donations go to a certain charity. This year's charity is, of course red nose day so and i am and i am part of it for this year so it should be really really fun uh because uh basically what he's done this year is he's opened it up to anyone so anyone could stream as part of thanksmas he's going to set up donation pages and then all the money will be collected together and given to red nose day so uh and various other charities that are part of of Vaxmus. So that he's working on all the background work. So all we have to do is stream. I am part of Operation Reindeer, which is a group run by Icy Richards on Twitter. And he's a really good he's a really fun po uh, streamer of Pokemon and other various series as well. There's a bunch of other people who are part of this series as well. I will link them all down in the description below. It's going to be awesome, and that is what our Pokemon Christmas Wonder Sleep Lock is going to be part of. So, the Pokemon Christmas Wonder Sleep Lock is going to be part of that series. Is as part of Thanksmas and as part of Operation Reindeer. We are going live if at 2 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time on the 17th. December 17th, we are playing Pokemon Christmas, and we are not going at uh, we are not going to stop until we beat the game. So, join us. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, the link to the live stream will be down in the description below. I will, uh, Once the donation page is set up, I will link that as well. And if you are able to donate, please do. If you are not able to donate, it is totally fine. I understand uh, money is scarce around these times and I understand that you try to focus on your own Christmases let alone other people's but if you can it would be really helpful because that's what Red Nose Day is working towards this year they are working toward uh, Red Nose Day and Comet Relief are working towards this year they are trying to help other people with the ongoing global climate to have a Merry Christmas and very, uh, throughout the world, not just in the UK, but throughout the world as well. With this uh, ongoing global situation, they are trying to help as much as they can. And our money really does help in these situations. So if you can, please feel free to donate. Please feel free to check the information about Thanksmas. I will leave as much information as I can in the description below about Thanksmas, please go and check out Jack Septakai. It's an announcement video for Thanksmas 2020, so you'll be informed and educated on what Thanksmas is. Anyway, let's get back to uh, let's get on to talking about other things now. So I talked about the main series. I can take that off now. <laughs> throughout the live stream, uh, throughout Thanksmas, I gotta keep that on throughout the entire thing now because it's celebrating Red Nose Day, so I've got to keep the thing on throughout the entire series. You know, I really liked it when I only had to do this throughout the entire month of March, but now I have to do it for an entire sleep block as well. It really hurts after a while. Anyway, a, I think that's probably all. I've talked about live streaming. I've talked about the main series to the channel. I've talked about the trial run. Is there anything else I need... Uh, 
Is there anything else I need to talk to you guys about? Uh, oh, Christmas break. Yes. Christmas break. I need to talk to you about that. Every year, I go... I stop making live content on YouTube every year for about a week. Um towards the end uh, towards christmas usually it starts about december 23rd and ends about december 28th this year because of the ongoing global situation i've decided i'm going to be taking a, a break a little bit earlier this year and we're going to be starting december the 20th i fully intend to end the week so there will be an episode of trial run on december 20th uh, which is a sunday and then from the Monday onwards, we will have no more Christmas. Uh, we will have no more live videos. They will just be pre-recorded videos. I've actually got a bunch of death montages from previous series that we've done in 2019, 2020 that are going to be going up on the channel for uh, this week. So you'll get a new death montage every day throughout that week, except for Christmas, because Christmas is for family. Please spend it with the family and not with me please spend christmas with your families and not with me even if you can't physically spend christmas with your families do it in a virtual environment call them on zoom i'm not sponsored by zoom zoom please sponsor me <laughs> but you know call your family be with your family as much as you can that's what uh 2020 has taught me if you can't have a normal Christmas, try to have as normal as a Christmas as you can without going, you know, without, you know, you know, causing problems with the world. Yeah, well, that's what I have. That's what I'm going to be trying to do this year. I'm going to be trying to have as a normal Christmas as I can without having as a, a normal Christmas. Next year, hopefully, I'll be able to go back to having a normal Christmas. But this year, it will be a 70% normal Christmas, possibly 80% normal Christmas. We'll see. But, you know, it may be scaled back a bit further than that. We don't know. It's the ongoing global climate. And hopefully, as time goes on, everything will fix itself in 2021. Fingers crossed fingers crossed for thing for life getting back to normal in 2021 and we're not having to deal with the ongoing global situation that we can't talk about because it'll get my videos demonetized or suppressed so from the december 21st to december 28th i'm going on christmas break there'll be nothing but death montages on the channel videos will start again december 28th with a brand new episode of the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, which is the Sims 4 Craftsman Challenge and, of course, non-Pokemon Mondays. This, uh, as we are coming to the end of Crown Tundra, I am now able to basically bring back the Sims 4 Craftsman Challenge and, of course, non-Pokemon Mondays. So those will be coming back for you guys. We'll have the Sims 4 Craftsman Challenge. Um, I've got a few more episodes I've got planned with that series. I want to real. I really want to get to the end of. Uh, right now, I'm at. I think I'm at level eight in handiness. Uh, so I'm almost at the end of the handiness skill because it's a ten skill level, and I want to get back. I want to get back onto doing fabrication because I'm only at level four in fabrication, and I really hate the fabrication machine because it seems to fail like all the time, and it's really annoying to actually because it takes forever to actually get something out of it and sims updates now sort of like when you use bits and pieces to use the fabrication machine it's not it like you don't get those bits and pieces back if it fails these days so it's really annoying to deal with uh you used to get the bits and pieces back it's really annoying to deal with the fabrication machine but i really want to say but like the two main parts of this lp were supposed to be handiness and fabrication because of the new eco lifestyle pack so that was the whole point of this series and i really want to do it so i'm going back i'm going to go back into the craftsman challenge i'm also trying to focus uh, knitting and sewing was one of the things i wanted to do as part of nifty knitting and i still kind of feel like that would be really cool to have on the, uh, the craftsman challenge i don't know i mean i also thought of like uh, having robotics because technically you're crafting a robot 
uh, and I also wanted to have uh, rocket science as part of it because you're building a rocket so building crafting it's just sort of the same thing uh, but we'll honestly see I don't want this series to be huge but because I want to keep no Pokemon Mondays to be a thing throughout 2021 and it to not just be the Sims I want to have some other content as part of non Pokemon Mondays for example Kingdom Hearts uh, is going to be part of no Pokemon Mondays in 2021 yes I'm doing a Kingdom Hearts LP I've never played the game before I've only seen like bits and pieces of this game and I want to play it for you guys. Hopefully I don't get copyright claims uh, from uh, Disney for playing the game. I really hope I don't. I'm probably not going to be showing cutscenes because of that reason. Because I'm really scared of getting copyright claims from Disney. Because I know Nintendo won't, uh, you know, shut my channel down for doing Pokemon. But Disney might shut my channel down for doing uh, Kingdom Hearts. So, really scared of that. So... I don't know. We'll see. I really, I really want to play Kingdom Hearts though, and I haven't played Kingdom Hearts, and I want to play Kingdom Hearts on the channel because I know there are a lot of my friends who absolutely love this game, and I want to see what it's all about because I was a, I was an Xbox guy. I never got a chance to play Kingdom Hearts, but with Game Pass, I can now because all three of them are on uh, Game Pass. Uh, so you got one. Two, uh, two point eight, and three, all on Gamecast, uh, on Game Pass, and possibly maybe more come out uh, in due time because Game Pass is awesome. Mm, so we'll see where that goes as part of Non Pokemon Mondays. But for the moment in time, Craftsman Challenge uh, starts back up on December the seventh. Uh, so and it'll come out every Monday for you guys. So hopefully you guys will enjoy Craftsman Challenge. That is all the things I want to go, uh, talk to you guys about uh, for the uh, for the series on the channel at this moment in time. As we go into 2021, you're going to see another one of these State of the Lantern Nation addresses uh, for you guys. Uh, probably around about the first week of January, we'll talk about our January. Uh, our January. We'll talk about our 2021 plans. We'll go more into what we're going to do with the Lantern versus the World. We're going to go into stuff like uh, my brand new series that I've got planned for the channel, like a Pokemon Platinum Yes Lock, a Pokemon uh, Region Adventures series, which is going to be awesome to do, and other various games that we are going to be playing throughout 2021. Hopefully there's some new Pokemon games coming out in 2021, not just po new Pokemon Snap that we know about. And we actually don't even know if it's going to be coming out in 2021, but, but we're guessing it's coming out in 2021. But... Hopefully it's more than just new Pokemon Snap and we'll be able to uh, play those games on the channel. Hey, maybe we will even get it back into Mystery Dungeon. I really wanted to play Mystery Dungeon this year, but I couldn't because of the ongoing global climate and I didn't have the monies to afford uh, Mystery Dungeon. But maybe as time goes on, I'll be able to afford to go and get Rescue Team DX and we can go and play Season 2 of the, Ky of the Kyrex Challenge for... Uh, uh, mystery dungeon uh red and blue who mystery dungeon dx yeah that one that's maybe we'll be able to do that but we will honestly see maybe it'll even be a pokemon ranger game in 2021 it's the anniversary maybe there'll be a diamond pearl game we don't know what's gonna happen in 2021 the world is our oyster when it comes to 2021 and damn it i want to enjoy it for as much as i can but until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to Pokemon, get to Lazar. And everybody enjoy po both Pokemon and video games. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk and of course if you want to watch more videos you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card and of course until next time 
From me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.